In this video, I'll show you 25 automation ideas as I go throughout my day. Hey, what's up? This is Reed. I have a wide range of automation ideas that you can use for inspiration in your home. All the details about how I set these up are written in an article linked below, and I'll be going into more depth on these automations in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. In the morning, to help me wake up, I have some light strips slowly fade on. The light gets taller and goes from a warm to cool white to be like a sunrise in my bedroom. Then a Google Home Hub automatically starts playing a motivational YouTube video to get me ready for the day. But if I get out of bed early, this will all be skipped to not wake up my wife. This works with a pressure sensor under my mattress that keeps track of when I'm in and out of bed. When I get up, the weather is red to me. Currently, in Mesa, it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Oh, that's nice outside for Arizona. If I open a window, the sensor tells the thermostat to not run while the window is open. And the ceiling fan automatically starts for some airflow in the room during a morning workout. I use the light strip again, but this time as a progress bar for my workout. It slowly changes to green over 30 minutes. That way I don't lose track of time and stay on schedule. It also helps me work out the full time without cutting it short. Like, I'm pretty much done with my workout right now. Are you kidding me? When walking into my office, I swipe my phone to trigger multiple automations. The lights turn on the way I want them. My calendar is read to me. At 12 p.m. there's meeting with Brent. At 1 p.m. there's phone call with Taylor. And my to-do list comes up on my phone. It's nice that this only happens for me and not for anybody that happens to walk into the room before I do. I'm using these little NFC tags to run these automations and they're dirt cheap. And they work really well with iOS 14 now. I have some light strips around my office door that change red when I need to focus on work without interruptions. I activate them with a button at my desk. If someone really needs to talk to me, knocking doesn't always work since I wear noise canceling headphones. I have a smart button as a doorbell for my office that will flash the lights if it's pressed. Hello? Who pressed the doorbell? Can't believe I'm getting doorbell ditched in my own house. If I've been sitting for a long time, my desk will automatically go up so I have to stand. This helps me use my standing desk and be less lazy. Or does it make me more lazy since I cannot press a button a few feet away? I don't know. When I slide the closet door open, the contact sensor automatically turns the light on. I'm using a light strip mounted on the ceiling with a channel cover, and it does a good job holding the light strip and it provides a lot of light. Actually, it might be too bright in here because I can see how much of a disaster it is. Then the light strip turns off when I close the door. It's time to run a few errands, and if I set the alarm, Amazon Guard is automatically activated. It will alert me for glass breaks, CO, or smoke alerts. At night, it will randomize my lights automatically to make it look like I'm home. Also, turning off the ring alarm will automatically change Amazon Guard to be off as well. The robot vacuum starts when no one is at home during the day, but it takes automations up a notch. It has cameras on the front to avoid cords so it doesn't get stuck. It also avoids gifts from your pet. Speaking of pets, if you don't want them on your furniture, this camera can detect pets and automatically play a pre-recorded message to get them off. Come on Luna, get down. You wanna go on a walk? Tonight. When I get home, if the garage door is still open, I have the LED on my light switch change colors to notify me. That way I can see it right away without having to wait for the notification to come in. I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible has the world's largest selection of audiobooks, and they make it really convenient to listen to audiobooks while you're eating lunch, working out, or really any time. One of my favorite audiobooks is this biography about Elon Musk, which is very fascinating. It tells his story from childhood to all the tech companies he's founded, and wow, I could not stop listening to it. You can easily switch back and forth between listening on your phone and an Echo device, and it'll just pick up in the same spot you left off. Resuming if you want to try it out, visit audible.com slash smart home solver or text smart home solver to 500 500. You'll get a 30 day trial with one audiobook and unlimited monthly Audible originals absolutely free. So if there's an audiobook that you want to listen to, like this one about Elon Musk or something totally different, then this is a great way to listen to one for free. 
Try it out in the link below, audible.com slash smart home solver. After lunch, the baby goes down for a nap. Usually my echo devices announce when my doorbell is pressed. Someone is at the front door. But during nap time, they automatically change to do not disturb. When my washing machine is done, the smart outlet's power usage detects it and sends me a notification to move my clothes to the dryer. This replaced my old automation of just waiting for family members to do it for me. Yeah, that stopped working years ago. When my wife is starting to cook dinner, she can just swipe her phone on the counter. That automatically sends me a message telling me she's cooking and it's time to help with the kids. That way I don't work too late. Around dinner time, the lights slowly fade on a half hour before sunset. If it's cloudy outside and darker than normal, the light sensor will turn on the lights earlier. That way it always stays light inside. <sighs> just got the kids in bed. Time to relax, clean up the toys. There's actually a robot that can go around and automatically put the toys in a box. This is still on Kickstarter, but the future of robots doing more than just vacuuming and mopping isn't too far away. All right, time to watch some TV. Ugh, if I could only find the remote. Computer, ask Chipolo to find my remote. The voice assistant activates the tracker to quickly find it. Better luck next time, kids. When I turn on the TV, the normal lights turn off and the Hue sync box and Hue lights turn on automatically. The lights sync with the TV and it really changes the whole experience of watching a movie. If I'm watching TV at night and the doorbell is pressed, the TV will pause so I don't miss anything while checking who's at the door. I can also quickly respond with a pre-recorded message. Giving you to the count of 10 gig or no good keys are off my property. One, two, ten. Reed, I'm your wife. Unlock the door. As I'm walking around at night, motion sensors turn on accent lighting, like under our kitchen cabinets. Using motion sensors for only accent lighting can be much more family friendly because it still helps you see in the dark and doesn't mess with the main lights. On trash night, it's easy for me to put off the reminder on my phone. If I haven't opened the back door after 8 p.m. and I go into the kitchen, the voice assistant will gently remind me to take out the trash. Stop what you're doing and take out the trash right now. I will wake you up in your sleep if you make me. All right, all right. Watching too much TV is an easy problem to have, especially with these hue sync lights. If I watch an unhealthy amount of TV, I will get a warning. Time to take a break from the TV. It can also automatically shut off the TV if you or your kids have no self-control. If I stay up late from watching TV or working and I get in bed after midnight, my alarm clock automations are automatically pushed back so I can have some time to sleep in the next day. Using the same sleep sensor, it can automatically turn off everything that was still on. If you don't have a pressure sensor under your mattress, you can also trigger this when your phone goes on the charger at night. Before you go, don't forget to check out Audible link below. You can listen to that Elon Musk book while you set up some of these automations to take things to a whole new level. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Oh, hey, thanks for bringing me that. Forgot, I need to take Lou on a walk. Oh, don't be sad. You can come too. Come on.